Okay, guys. So when it cut off, I was about here. Darkest values in the corner of the eye. Lighten up as you go. Remember when you blend to blend with your shading. Not across it. Otherwise, you just smudge it all together. I do that sometimes when I feel like it's safe. Okay. Well, don't forget the tear duct. I would use a pretty heavy value there, maybe a five out of six. And then now let's go to the other side of the eye right here. And you might notice I'm flipping my paper around. See my tear ducts over here now, my eyes upside down. That's because I'm right handed and it's much easier for me to shade nicely if I'm doing it in a way where my arm bends naturally. So I shade this way because naturally that's how my arm wants to move. Okay. I shade, I blend. You might have noticed that I've left the inside of the eye totally blank. Now, even though that is the most complex part of a real eye, it's not why it's blank, believe it or not. It's blank because you guys are going to do that yourself. You might be thinking, what are you talking about? Oh, this is hard enough. Why would you abandon me like that, Miss Mitchell? That is not nice of you. Um, it's actually because, gosh, I like to say that a lot, don't I? Actually, because, actually, because, actually, because you guys are going to decide what belongs on the inside of your own eye. This work we're making at Model Doctor called False Window. As you can see, his false window shows us almost like you're looking through the eye and seeing the clouds behind it. Notice it's kind of flat right here. It's not three-dimensional. It's just like, just like looking through a window. Well, you have to decide what you want your eye to be looking at. It could be anything. Your eye could be looking at some beautiful landscape. It could be looking at your pet. It could be looking at somebody you miss seeing. It could be looking at a, a car or who knows, guys. I'm going to do mine um, actually as a sunflower. Because I miss seeing those beautiful, colorful sunflowers. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in the pupil. This would probably be a value five or six. I'm going to say six. And then around that, I draw on the iris whatever I want that I want my eye to be seen. So mine will be a sunflower. You don't have to do a sunflower for yours. You can make your eye see, make your window, showing whatever it is you want to see right now. School appropriate, of course. So if you want to do the sunflower, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do petal shapes. You're not doing the sunflower. You're doing something else for your eye. And then you don't have to watch the next demo video because it's going to be me finishing up the sunflower. If you want to do the sunflower with me, then that's totally fine. Okay. Guys, I thought I had. Well, oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. Don't worry about making things too realistic. So this is surrealist style art, and it wasn't usually drawn in the most realistic way, okay? If you're drawing something on your own, like a car or 